Right, hi there everyone, uh, it's Travis here from uh, Lincoln University Dryland Pastures. Uh, last time we did a video in the lab, uh, we were looking at the nodules of lupins and uh, the rhizobia and how we clean them and plate them. So this is like a sort of a second addition to that video and today I'm here with Catherine who's uh, doing a PhD in white clover which is a very common, the most common type of clover in New Zealand and she's also working on lucerne. So she's working with Rhizobia and today she's just going to run you through a few things that she does in the lab and we're just going to have a look at some plates and yeah, catch up with Catherine and see what she's doing. Hi, so in a previous video Travis has shown you how to, or how we get the Rhizobia out of the nodules and onto the plates and so today I will be showing you how we um, take a sub from these the original plate and put it onto a new plate um, in order to get a clean culture. Um, so I have a plate here and as you can see it's got some other, it's not pure rhizobia. We're looking for the, the white um, gooey stuff rather than this. There's some psyllis here and some yellowy things in there that we don't want. So to clean this up, we get a fresh YMA plate and one of these and then we dip it into the clean part of the um, plate and just streak it first like this. And so after that, you use two different sterile loops there. Yeah. Do you just swap halfway through to make sure you get individual colonies? Yeah. So you're not bombarding the plate with too much bacteria, is yeah. that right? That's the idea. So here we have um, a plate that I'd grown up earlier. So this is this here is the original um, plate. It's pretty clean, but we um, it's just good practice to do a do at least one sub from all plates and so you incubate that at 25 degrees in the dark for a couple of days and this is the resulting plate so that's a pure culture there. Yeah. And where have these rhizobia come from Catherine? Right so um, what I what these rhizobia are from uh, they've been um, isolated from white clover nodules that um, from a trial at Lincoln University uh, so they've been inoculated with TA1 and this trial was sown in the autumn this year and I've been digging up white clover plants every um, two months and looking to see how much TA1 is in the nodules and so I'm yeah looking to see how long TA1 is present in the nodules of the white clover plants. Okay, so it's nodule occupancy of TA1 that you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm looking for. Great. Right. 